how does the existing building code impact my project? Pennsylvania adopted the existing building code when they adopted um, the uh, universal um, building code uh, in the mid 2000s. The existing building code, not a lot of contractors and not a lot of homeowners know about. So we try to you know, encourage people to get familiar with it because it allows you exemptions for meeting the modern code as long as you're not changing the usage of the building. So if you're just if you're if you're just remodeling your your farmhouse let's say and your front door swings inward uh, which is typical in a residential and you're keeping it residential that's okay but if you're keeping it commercial sometimes or if you're changing it like into a bed and breakfast or something then the the modern building code would make you change um ch- uh, Oh, the doors to open outside so that there's easy egress. The the existing building code allows you some variations. Big grand staircases, the the spacing between the balusters on a stair stairway, all of those things would not be allowed under um, the commercial building code, but those are our important historic features that we would lose if we made every building conform to the modern building code. So knowing the existing building code and, and having a contractor that understands um, that what what and will work with the building department to make sure that their building is still safe, but will keep those historic features is very important. So we're saying that the existing building code uh, only applies if I if I'm keeping residential property residential, not converting it to commercial. It's a change of usage. So if you're if you're keeping if if it's being used for the the uh, its intended purposes for what it was built to be used as, um, then it will uh, then it, you the existing building code applies. Now we did a barn conversion several years ago. So a barn being a house is not the uh, original use. Uh, so we did have to meet the um, we did have to meet the modern building code, but because we had an understanding of the existing building code and we could um, talk to the the building inspector and they w- they allowed us to do some things that probably they wouldn't be it wouldn't have been okay in a new building, but because the building was existing, we still you know ensured the safety of the occupants while respecting the historic nature of the of the barn.